As nursing home neglect lawyers, we're often confronted with situations where our clients have pressure ulcers, or what's commonly referred to as bed sores. Uh, pressure ulcers are caused by exactly what they say, and that is pressure. Pressure on the skin or the underlying tissues. And when that goes on for a period of time, the pressure on the skin and the underlying tissues deprives the, those, that area from blood flow and therefore vital nutrients and hydration can't be delivered to that area of the body and in extreme circumstances uh, those areas begin to deteriorate and die and often lead to pressure ulcers. Pressure ulcers are staged. Uh, the standard of care requires that a nursing home uh, when a resident uh, has a pressure ulcer to stage that pressure ulcer. Stage one are just a, basically a red area on the skin that as a result of pressure um, it's, it's not open. Uh, a stage two is a partial thickness deterioration in, in the skin, the dermis layer, um, and oftentimes has uh, a fluid or a, a blister like um, associated with a stage two. Uh, stage three is a full thickness uh, deterioration. That means that there is an open wound that is basically penetrated through the skin uh, as well as the epidermis layer and some of the associated um, tissue underlying the skin. And fourth is a stage four uh, pressure ulcer that involves the full thickness that a stage three does and in addition it's gone deep enough to where the bones, uh, ligaments, or muscles are exposed. Um, and that is a very painful uh, condition when the bone is it exposed. Stage three and stage four are obviously the most uh, severe of the pressure ulcers and can sometimes be associated with infection. If you believe your loved one has suffered from pressure ulcers in the nursing home, I strongly encourage you to seek a uh, legal opinion. Sometimes those are preventable with good care in the nursing home and sometimes they're not and that often depends upon the underlying medical conditions of the resident. We've created various resources for you. Uh, you can access those resources on our site. Uh, there are two books. One is How to Select a Nursing Home for a Loved One. And the second book is Seven Steps to Keep Your Loved One Safe in a Nursing Home and What to Do if They're Injured. There's also a myriad of other resources that are available to you, so click on the link to get to that information.